Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna look at creating a detailed supplier form. Uh, so we're gonna need to uh, create two tables first. One will be our supplier information, and the other will be a table containing all our product information. So uh, in this example, we have these tables uh, on ex some Excel spreadsheets. So inside Access, we're gonna select our external data tab, and then we want new data source from file, and they are Excel files. So we'll browse to go find those. I have my supplier list here. <clears throat> okay. Now I want to make sure here that we're checking off first row contains column headings because here's our first row here. So this is very critical. And we'll select next. And by clicking on each of these columns, we want to make note of the uh, data type. So we want to make sure in this example, in this table, that they're all short text, which that seems to be the case. So that's fine. We'll select next. Uh, now we're going to let access here add a primary key. What this will do is this will assign a unique uh, uh, ID number to each supplier that we have. And we'll continue on as we continue to add suppliers to our database. So we'll select next. And we'll call this supplier table and finish, close. Okay, so we can get rid of this default table one. We don't need that any longer. And here's our supplier table. And we'll take a look at that in design view. Okay, so here we've got, uh, we're gonna name this supplier ID. And we'll want to call this supplier name, address, city, province, postal code. All these other things can remain the same. Okay, so we'll save this and close it. And now we'll simply create a supplier form. And this will be a form that employees would use to actually uh, create uh, or add, rather, additional suppliers or any information. So we'll select create at the top of our screen. And we can just select form wizard. And this is the table we want to use, our supplier table. And we want everything, all these available fields. We want to include this on in our form. So we'll move these across. We'll select next. And we want it in a data sheet view, which sort of gives us a landscape view. And we will call this supplier form. And finish. All right. And the property sheet up here, we're going to want uh, to take a look at our data default view, and we are going to select, oops, let's just close this for a moment. We want to get actually into, because we're still highlighted on our table, we actually want to go into our form. Here we go. And we'll want our uh, default view. From a data sheet to a form view. So let's save that. And that's what this is what this actually does. So we'll close that for a moment. And now what will happen is because we've changed the format of the view, as soon as I select vendor form, it's going to come up in a form view, which is what we're going to want uh, when we uh, finalize uh, everything in the program. All right, so let's save that. Close it out. <clears throat> and let's bring the information on our products and our inventory. So again, we'll go to external data. New data source, it's from a file, it's in Excel. We will browse and we will look for something called an item master. There's one here, that'll work. Select OK. Now here we want to check first row contains headers, great. Check our, um, check our data types, short text. This is currency or retail, and our wholesale price also currency, so that's great. And we're going to allow uh, access to assign a unique code to each one of our products. And we'll call this item master table. And we'll select finish and close. All right, so let's go up to our item master table now. Pull that up and let's 
convert this to a design view, and we will have change the name of our first field to item ID. Okay, uh, we're going to call the second field. We'll call it product name. Okay, we've got a retail price, our wholesale price. And then what we want to do here now is we want to actually, we're going to create a relationship between this item master table and our supplier table. So we know which supplier is going to be providing us with, with which product. So we'll call this supplier ID. And to connect these tables together, we're going to use a function called the lookup wizard right down here at the bottom. We want to look up the values from another table. And we're going to select our supplier table. We'll collect. Uh, we'll select next and we want the supplier ID but we're also going to want the supplier name because you know when this comes up on the forms we're not going to really know or be able to tell what ID number responds to which supplier so we'll move that over so these are the two fields we want to select supplier ID and supplier name we'll select next now we want to sort these records by supplier name so this is what will come up when we use the drop down menu in our form that we're going to create We'll select next and here you can see this is sort of giving a preview of what you'll see at your drop down menu on your form the list of the pro, uh, rather the uh, suppliers names which is great we'll select next and we're going to call this yeah we can leave that as supplier id and we will enable data integrity as always finish relationships uh, should be saved can be created save now yes okay so let's just quickly take a look at what we've done we'll click on database tools, relationships, and we can see now that we've created a relationship between the item master table and the supplier table. And we have a one-to-many relationship. So one supplier can provide us many products. So let's save this and close it. Save this again and Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to, um, for the sake of time, uh, I'm going to create a second part or a second video tutorial related to this where we're going to finalize a detailed supplier form. So we will see you then.